Well, Ashley, things are actually going pretty well right now, although TriMet officials have told folks who are riders who use these lines, who travel in this area, the Lloyd District, to expect delays all day. Within the last several minutes, the MAX train actually rolled away here slowly, so that has left the scene. However, they are still working on removing the Portland streetcar. That could take a while. Peabot reporting that roads will be closed at least through the evening commute, and it will take another couple of days to determine exactly what happened. It's pretty apparent streetcar and the MAX train collided. Apparent but shocking to people near Northeast 7th and Holiday Wednesday morning. It's it's wild, especially in this neighborhood. It like it's usually so quiet, <laughs> so it's kind of like exciting for this building. Everybody was down to like trying to check out what was going on. Brody Worrell works as a barista and heard the crash around 10 a.m. between a Portland streetcar and a Max train. Once the initial, you know, crash happened, I like looked right out and it just I saw both of them kind of slowly move in you know, the after effects of it. Both knocked off their tracks, the impact pinning in the driver of the streetcar and injuring another rider. Both transported to a hospital for uh, increased care. Portland Fire and Rescue reports all other riders walked away just fine as the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office steps in to find out how this happened. Deputy John Plock telling us the investigation's pretty straightforward. One of two things happened, either the signals malfunctioned or or one of the operators misread a signal. It's essentially like uh, any sort of intersection where there's a green light, red light. It's just a different system for the MAX trains. TriMet reports this crash blocking roads and delaying riders for hours isn't common. There are occasions where there are autos in the right of way and there are collisions as a result of that. People running red lights and it, it can lead to a derailment. But these types of collisions are very rare. Now to reiterate, there are no serious injuries to report at this time and the estimated cleanup could take several more hours. However, as reported earlier, the MAX train has been removed from the scene and they are currently working on the Portland streetcar. Obviously, a lot of different crews out here and a lot of heavy machinery in place in order to get these roads reopened. Live in Northeast Portland, Alma McCarty, KGW News.